Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be replacing the optical drive in a 2009 Mac Mini with a hard drive using the OWC Data Doubler. Make sure to watch the video all the way through before attempting this upgrade. As you'll see, getting into the Mini is a somewhat tricky procedure and professional installation is suggested. We've gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the Mini, and are working on a soft, static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. To get inside, we first need to flip the Mini over. To loosen the clips holding the top cover on, you'll need a small bladed putty knife. Carefully insert the blade of the putty knife in between the inner and outer cases. Then, gently but firmly pry outward with the knife, which will cause it to detach the inner clips from the case. Carefully work your way around the Mini's edges. You'll hear a series of pops as the clips come free. Once you get to the rear of the Mini, the case should be separated enough that you can simply flip the Mini back over and lift the cover up and off. Inside, there are three antennas that need to be removed. The large antenna on the right has a small clip underneath which you'll need to squeeze to release. Set the antenna out of the way and remove the spring so you don't accidentally knock it into the Mini. The two smaller antennas on the left simply pull up and out. The springs come away as well. Next, detach this ribbon cable by simply lifting it away from its connector. Now we can remove the drive itself. The optical drive is located on the top part of the drive assembly and is held into place by six screws. The first two are along the rear of the Mini, holding the SATA card to the drive. You'll have to move the ribbon cable to the side to remove the first one. The next two are along the left side of the Mini. The other two are on the right side, recessed under the flared edge of the drive. Once the screws have been removed, you can gently lift the front edge of the drive and slide it forward out of the carrier. There are four anti-static cushions on the original drive which will need to be transferred to the data doubler. Simply peel them off the original drive and press them into the same places on the data doubler. There should be enough residual adhesive on the pads to hold them in place. We can install any 2.5 inch platter based or solid state drive in the data doubler. For this installation, we're going to install an SSD. Line up the SATA connector on the drive with the socket on the data doubler and slide the two pieces together. Attach the drive to the data doubler through these two holes using the two thick Phillips screws that came with your kit. You may need to adjust the drive slightly so the screw holes align. The data doubler is now ready to install into the Mini. Line the SATA port on the data doubler up with the connector in the Mini and slide it into place. Next, replace the six mounting screws we removed earlier. You may have to adjust the drive slightly so the holes line up. You can now place the springs on the antenna posts then attach the antennas themselves by pushing them into place and making sure the cables are positioned behind the clips. For the large antenna on the right, you may need to squeeze the clip you used to remove it in order to replace it. Finally, reattach the drive ribbon cable. 
You may now replace the top cover and push down evenly around all edges until it clips flush back into place. You may now flip your Mac Mini back over, plug it back in, and turn it on.